Bloxit 2 introduces a completely new feature, the Color Mode Switcher, or as many of you like to call it, Dark Mode for websites. It builds on top of the new color management system and it couldn't be simpler to get started with. Start by navigating to the WordPress dashboard, click on Bloxy, then choose the Extensions tab. Scroll down and note the Color Mode Switch extension. Click the toggle to turn it on. Next, it's time to navigate to the Customizer as that's the place where we will configure the new extension. We will need a way to let our users switch from one color mode to another. The color switch header element comes in handy for this. Select the header pane, then drag the color switch element to one of the rows. Note the options that are available for customizing the look and functionality of the switcher element. There are three beautifully animated icons to choose from. Options for size and label, as well as selecting the default color mode with an interesting option that detects your operating system's look and automatically sets it for the website. There's one more place that needs changing in order to finalize configuring the color mode extension, and that's the color scheme itself. As you can see, each color from the main color palette has an analog for the other color mode. Here you will be able to configure the scheme to suit your website's design, and you can preview the changes in real time right inside the customizer preview window. However, We'd like to note two important things before we close. Let's navigate to the blog section to see these in action and explain what's happening. The first thing that we need to clarify is that for the color mode switcher to work correctly, all colors used on the site, in the customizer, or in the page editor must be used from the palette. The switcher will not work with custom colors as there isn't an algorithm to predict the contrast of the colors and automatically switch to those. In our first example here, we notice the blog post titles being set to a custom dark color. This works great while in the light view, but does not have the desired contrast when we switch to the dark palette. To fix this, we simply need to select one of the correct colors from the palette and the system takes care of the switch automatically. The second thing that needs clarification is that in some very specific cases, there can be some elements that will not look good in their surroundings, even if you select a defined color from the palette. Take the card background color here. If we select the light color from the palette, it doesn't look all that good as there is no contrast. In such cases, there's an easy method to make these specifics work correctly. Just add a new color to the palette as you can have as many as needed. Let's quickly add one in the color management system And coming back to the card background color, we can select it as the additional color pops up in the picker. See, it looks gorgeous now. Pixel perfect, shall we say? And that is it. The color mode switcher lets your visitors get a tailored experience to their preferences, making elements easier on the eyes and integrating with their preferred user interface look. Welcome to the dark side. And if you wish to learn more about what Bloxy2 has to offer, continue on onto our website or click on one of our other videos to keep watching.